Hey guys, it's Tony Palizzi and I got a new tutorial for you guys. Um, basically, I figured this out just randomly, um, just messing around with one of my drawings, and this was the result. You get kind of like a crystal effect on pretty much any image you use it on. Um, I just used one of my colored pencil drawings for this, but you can, I've tested it on um, photography, drawings, 3D rendered images, just a bunch of different things to see if it would work in it. It works for a lot of things. It looks kind of goofy for some, but you can test it on just pretty much anything and show me what it looks like in the comments or something. So first off, let's go to our clean image, which is right here. And it's just my um, colored pencil drawing that I scanned onto the computer. Um, no, nothing special, but let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is duplicate your layer about five times. And um, you can do this in multiple different times. Like I've done it four times, three times, and six times. It just depends on um, what you want your image to look like. So you can mess around with that using different, um, how many different layers. So first thing you want to do is take your top layer that you copied and bring the opacity down to 20%. Then we're going to filter pixelate crystallize and you're gonna want the cell size pretty large um, I usually do around 80 to 90 with this so let's try 90 for now actually we'll go down to 85 that should look fine and just hit OK and you can see it barely in the background because the opacity is only at 20% so then go to our next layer below it turn the opacity down to 30% and filter pixelate crystallize once again and we're going to bring the cell size down 20 so we're going to go to 65 and just hit OK and as you can see it's kind of slowly building the image up with these uh, different sized crystals just layered on top of each other if we go down to our next layer hit 40 percent filter pixelate crystallize bring this down to 45 Almost done, we'll go down to our next layer, 50% opacity, filter, pixelate, crystallize, 25. And I'm pretty sure you guys can do this on most platforms of Photoshop. Right now I'm running Photoshop CS6, but I'm pretty sure the crystallize effect is in most Photoshops, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. And then go to our next layer, hit opacity 60. Pixelate, crystallize, and we'll go down to 5. And that's all we're doing for the crystallize, and we're just going to leave our background layer, our original layer, the same. Because if you get rid of it, you pretty much have this transparency that you don't want. And this just helps define what the image actually is, so it's not completely abstract. And then we're going to make this a layer from background so we can use this. We're going to select all of our layers, go to Filter. Sorry, we have to select them and then merge them all. Go to Filter, um, Filter Gallery, and Glowing Edges. Now for this, I just recently um, used this so I have the same settings that I want for this. You can mess with them quite a bit though if you want your lines to be thicker. We're basically just going to outline all the crystals that we just made. So I like to keep them very thin though and pretty bright so they're there. And I just added a little bit more smoothness to it. So just hit OK. And you're going to want to select everything, so hit Control A and then Control C to copy. And then once you have it copied, we can just go Control Alt Z or Z a couple times until we're back to what we were at before. And then we're going to hit Control V to paste everything that we just copied on top. And we're going to change the layer mode to screen. And now we have our lines. And it looks pretty good like this, but our image kind of faded and it's kind of dull right now. So what we're going to do finally is merge all of these layers here again. And we're going to do some editing with our brightness contrast. Bump the contrast up about 80. Just so we get like a lot more of our, just our color back. We can... Bring the brightness up a little bit. I don't want to do this too much so our whites don't completely blend in with each other. But um, just hit OK. Go back to Image Adjustments and Levels. And we're going to do this just barely, just to bring our really darks out and our really lights out. 
and that should be pretty good right there yeah it looks nice and just hit ok and finally we're going to filter we're going to sharpen the image a bit go to smart sharpen um, this really depends on you and how much you want it to do um, I do a fair amount of this as you can see like it just it helps bring the geometric shapes out I think and the colors pop a bit more but um, just just play around with the settings and just get something you want and just hit OK. And that's really all it takes. It's pretty simple. Just came up with this idea by playing around. And it's always good to play around in Photoshop just to see whatever effects you can find out for yourself. It's pretty fun. And uh, give this video a like, a comment. Let me know if you guys have created something and you might think it's cool. Want to show me? And I'll definitely take a look at it. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.